Hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome to this installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. How you doing this Monday morning? Did you have a uh, decent, a productive, an effective, a relaxing weekend? Any of the above? All of the above? Well, guess what? It's Monday. And if you were able to shut your brain off for the weekend, it's time to get back to work. Okay, there it is. That's the show for today. You guys have a great Monday. No, 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 that's not all. We're going to talk about uh, long-range plans and how long do long-range plans need to be. That's something that, uh, in you know, in talking with a lot of the business owners and, and, and even, look, you, even if you're just just doing a side hustle, you got your business owner too, right? So this applies to you as well. One of the things that is a little challenging for us when I start talking about making some long-range plans and the the question inevitably comes up, well, how long? And then, you know, if you use any kind of, um, I don't know, business plan software or something, they'll tell you two-year plan, five-year plan, blah de blah whatever. So that's what we're talking about this morning. Before we get into that, just a quick reminder, if you are watching live, even if you're watching on the replay, or if you're just listening, not just listening, if you are listening in your favorite podcast catcher, iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, what have you, you guys head back over here to Facebook, uh, go to uh, 7 com. The rest of you that are already here, drop a comment down there. Let me know that you're here. I love seeing those, and that sets you up so that Facebook will keep you involved in the conversation as it progresses. And if I'll switch back over to that little screen, I can see that Joe has already done that. Good morning to you, Joe. And uh, if you'll do that before I finish up the show, I'll say good morning to you also. All right, so how long does long-term need to be? I got into, um, at some point I'll give you um, more of the details around this, but I've got a little thing developing here where part of the challenge is that the the individual in question has no long-term plan. And so without a long-term plan, you know, we've been talking a lot this year <laughs> since the month started about um, how to stop letting life happen to you and begin to create the life that you crave. One of the easiest ways for life to happen to you is to not have a plan because life's going to happen. The only difference is whether you are intentional about what you're pursuing or you just kind of let it happen to you. So this individual in question has no plan. Life just happens. And then this whole feeling of helplessness comes along. Well, I'm just at the mercy of whatever dials up today. Right. So the, the, um, the solution for that, the answer for that is to create a long range plan. Well, so then the question comes up, well, how long range does it have to be? Well, here's the good news. If you don't have one now, it only has to be about five to seven days long. I'll go ahead and make it seven days so we can check in here again next Monday when we come back. Seven days. That's a week. What do you, what do you want to have happen by this time next week? Even if you can't approach it from that perspective, just look at what you already have scheduled for this week. Okay, today's Monday. What's the one thing I need to accomplish today? And that's the second piece of great news. You only have to have one priority every day. See, that's the great thing about only having one priority for all you naysayers out there. With one, I only have to come up with one thing that has to happen today. Right? So what's the one priority for Monday, one priority for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday? That's it. Now you've got a long-range plan for a week. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you don't have one, if you're like this person I'm, I'm describing, you have no plan whatsoever, a week is a long time. I understand that. Write it down. Execute on a week. Next week we'll come back and do it again and add a couple of days to it. And you just keep adding to it, right? Whatever you're – now, and that, that's one approach. The other approach is to say, okay, in a week I want to have X, all right? So if I want to have X done at the end of a week, if I want to have $100 and it's, well, let's do make math easier for Tom. If I want to have $140 this time next week, what do I have to do? Well, I have to make $20 a day. 
okay, so today's Monday. How are you going to make $20 today? See, it. I mean, whether you approach it from the end and work backwards, which is what I tend to do, or if you take today and move forward, at least now every day you've got a goal and something you have to work toward. And that is the beginning of taking control, um, creating the life you crave, not letting life happen to you. Good morning to you, Mark. Thank you, sir, for being here. I appreciate you being here as well. All of you who are watching, lurking, I'm glad you guys are here. Just drop me a note down there and say hi. If you know, so we're going to continue this conversation about long range. I don't know how long range range uh, or how long range will get, but we're going to talk about planning and creating those big goals this week. If you know somebody that could benefit from that, if you could benefit from that, be sure and be here. If you know somebody else, be sure and share this video with them. Like them so it'll show up in your feed, and they can find it also. All right, that's it for today. I'm uh, going to go ahead and wrap it up. It's Monday. Have a magnificent Monday. I'll be back here again in the morning with another brand-new installment of Talk no, see, not talk Radio for Entrepreneurs. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning. Talk Radio is tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Man, we'll have to figure all this stuff out somehow. You guys have a magnificent Monday. Talk to you again tomorrow. Take care.